Yo guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how I would start a Minecraft world for beginners. So, of course, the first thing you're going to want to be doing is start by fisting some wood. So you want to find yourself a tree. It can be any tree. I really like it when I spawn in the plains biome because I like the plains wood the most. But anyway, you want to find yourself a nice good tree. And then once you find yourself the tree, then you can start fisting it just like this with left click on your mouse. So then if you hold it enough, then it should break the block and it will pop, it, pop up in your hotbar down below. Now once it's popped up in your hotbar, you want to have at least three pieces of wood. The more the better, but you want to start with like maximum six pieces of wood. Then you want to press E on your keyboard to open your inventory. And then you'll see this brings up a ton of more stuff. So first you want to click on oak planks and bring up some oak planks. And then with these oak planks, you want to put them just like this using right click in each square to make a crafting table. Then once you have a crafting table, you want to do this, two blocks in either side, of course your planks, to make eight sticks. Then you want to place your crafting table down with right click, and then you want to right click on it again to open it. Now you have a ton more recipes because it's a crafting table, so you want to just grab a wooden pickaxe. And then once you have your wooden pickaxe, you want to start mining down with left click. So just like fisting, you want to mine down um, on the ground and then you should run into stone. So you want to have at least nine pieces of this stone. So here we go, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. The more the better, you could break your whole pickaxe. You see it has durability, but nine is all you need for now. Then you want to use your sticks the rest of them and put them in a pattern like this two sticks here then two more sticks and then one more stick on the bottom then you want to use the cobblestone you just got place three across the top and you can get a stone pickaxe then you do this crafting recipe <coughs> and you can get a stone axe and then with one stick below you can make a stone sword just like this now you have all stone tools and that's all you should need for the first day so you can mine your crafting table with your axe and you'll see it's a lot faster. You can also fist trees with your axe and you mine them a lot faster. So now once you have some basic stone tools, um, that's what I'd get first. But then after I do that, normally I start looking for a village. Because villages are like jackpots when you first start out. But it's also okay if you don't find a village. You'll know when you found a village when you see one. It's basically just a ton of little houses and stuff and they're really good. Maybe in a future video, I'll teach you guys how to loot a village if you do find one. But anyway, now once you've done that, you want to start by getting some food. So you want to use your sword and you'll see there are some sheep and cows and pigs around. So this is what sheep look like and you can hit them with your sword like this and it kills them and then they give you some meat. So if you open your inventory, you'll see they give you raw mutton. Now, sheep are the best to find on the first day because they also give you wool. And you need three pieces of wool to make a bed so that you can sleep the night and stay away from all those creepy monsters. Um, but anyway, so once you have three pieces of wool by killing three sheep, then um, you can make a bed in your inventory. So you can place your crafting table down, right click on it, and then you can make a bed just like this. Three planks below and three white wool above just like that and now you can make a white bed um so you need to have three of the same color wool so three white wool is the easiest to get but then once you do that you'll also have some raw mutton and if there are any other animals i recommend also getting them because you need the most food you can get in the first day um so that's a pretty good tutorial for the first day but i'm gonna add on a little extra thing and it's where you should try to find a cave that looks just like this you don't want to find too big of a cave um, but you do want to find a cave um, so that then you can get some basic mining started. So this is a pretty good little cave over here. And this stuff is called coal. You can use your pickaxe on it. Um, and it's good for smelting up your food so that it does more hunger and you can cook your food. Um, but So you want to get as much coal as you can get. So here they come in pretty big stacks. You want to mine them all up with your pickaxe. Um, and then once you have enough coal, I'd say 11 is enough for the first day, but you should get as much as you can. Um, then you want to start looking for some iron. So 
They also will come in the caves where you find the coal, but sometimes you'll only find coal in the caves. But you're lucky if you do find iron. Um, so once I do find some iron, I'll show you what it looks like. Alright guys, and now once you find some iron, it should look like this. It's kind of like the coal, but just with this orangey stuff instead of the black. So you want to mine up all the iron you can get. Iron's really important, so you want to mine it all up. Um, and then four pieces of iron is about enough, but like I said, you want to get as much as you can within the first day, because iron's really good to make iron tools, and they're a lot better than stone tools. Um, so once you do that, you want to, well actually, the reason I said you want to get more stone, probably, but I only got nine pieces, is because now once you have some stone, then you can actually make a furnace with nine more pieces. So once you have nine pieces, then you can bring up your crafting table again, like this, place it down, open it up, and then with a pattern like this, you can actually make a furnace with all your stone. So there you go, and then you can place down your furnace just like your crafting table, right click on it, um, and then you have this entire furnace thing, so you want to put your coal in the bottom, and then your raw iron in the top, and then it'll start smelting as you can see. So then it'll start turning into iron ingots, and iron ingots are good for making tools and stuff. So just, you can use the same crafting recipes as the stone, but you can also make a shield with this. And I think it's really important to make a shield, especially for a beginner, and you make it like this, um, with an iron ingot. So that then, when there are skeletons and stuff, like monsters at night time, um, then you don't have to protect yourself or get them. It, then it's not going to be that hard to protect yourself. So then you put the shield in this little area right here in your crafting table. Or in, no, in your inventory. Um, right there. And then you can hold other stuff and your shield still there. And then you just need to hold down shift and your shield will be activated. Um, so you can use this to deflect against arrows and stuff. But now you can see my iron smelted up. So if I have any leftover coal, I can also put my raw mutton in there or any meat that you got and it'll start smelting up um anyway now that you have that you can use the rest of your logs make more sticks and then just upgrade your tool so i'm gonna make i guess a stone pickaxe here no an iron pickaxe with these iron ingots and now it's a lot faster to mine stone um, but that's basically all you need to know for a beginner for the first day of Minecraft. You can smelt up some food and then you're going to be set. You can place down your bed as well and when the sky gets to get dark, you can sleep in it just like that. It says I can only sleep at night because you can. Um, but next time you die, you can also you respawn by your bed like here or here. Um, but anyway, that's a beginner tutorial on Minecraft. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.